Dude, I this, this chair is like actively breaking. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to more Dimple Balls videos. We're enjoying the lovely spring. I don't think we're to spring yet, but we're almost there. The spring weather, it's sunny. It's like 75 degrees in Northern California. It's absolutely beautiful. And today we got another club review. We're gonna test out whether this club is trash or whether it's premium. The cost of this club has gone down over the last couple years. This club came out like two, three years ago. And when it came out, people went kind of crazy for it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if it's even a good club that you should add to your bag. You should consider adding to your bag and stay tuned to the end because we definitely have a surprise for you guys. So today we are reviewing the, oh my God, that chair's, this chair is definitely broken. The Kirkland KS1 putter. My dad was looking to upgrade his putter because uh, I think he has like some old Spalding club, some old Spalding putter, but today he got the KS1 Kirkland Signature putter, which to me from face value, looking at it from a distance, it looks kind of like a Scotty Cameron. There are the two weights at the bottom, which remind me a lot of like a Scotty design. The milled fit front face is there. And of course we know Kirkland Costco doesn't make their own clubs. They just simply brand them. So. It'd be interesting to see who actually manufactures this club. I could see maybe Odyssey making this club. I could see uh, Scotty Cameron making this club, even though uh, it's more likely that it's something like Callaway Odyssey, just because it's such a mainstream, huge brand. Um, and then it comes with, of course, a head cover and uh, a premium grip, which we will cover in this video, because I've never used a putter with a grip like this. And supposedly, it actually helps improve your putting game. So. Again, stay tuned till the end. We got a surprise. Let's rip this thing open and see how it looks. So, when this thing retails for about $150 on the website, but I think you can get some good deals in there for like $135, $140, depending on where you look. If you look on eBay, you could probably get it a little bit cheaper than at Costco itself. Or if it is Costco, so you could probably get 10 of these things for like a thousand bucks, which would be a good deal. So, we got the head cover. We got the grip, we got the club itself. Looks premium, but we're gonna test it out if it actually is or not. A lot of foam, okay? It's gonna be between this foam, I think. Like there's no opening to the foam. So we'll set the box right there. Should we get like a good grand reveal here? I have not opened the foam yet. Hopefully this is the right way. It might be upside down. And there it is. The KS1 putter with the super stroke grip, just like I was talking about, the milled club face, uh, and then the putter cover, which looks pretty nice too. I know people like to get creative with their putter covers, so this might not be the one for you. Um, it just tells you what the club is, like most most basic stock putter, putter head covers. It just says Kirkland Signature KS1. And then of course, the club itself. Wow, this thing is shockingly beautiful when you pull it out of the bag it is absolutely gorgeous you can see i'm gonna try and not block the lens here we got the ks1 milled face club we have a line on the back of the blade it says kirkland signature on the back as well and the line helps you line up your ball towards your target which i love it and i prefer blade putters um but i know some people that prefer mallet putters and so it's pretty much just all preference then of course we have the super stroke grip which is a 20 mid slim or 2.0 mid slim super stroke grip again i've never used a super stroke grip before but supposedly they are very nice in keeping your wrists nice and straight and helping you just kind of drive through the ball without really anything else oh that feels good that definitely feels good I don't know if you guys could see that that well, but it feels good. So let's take it on the grass and uh, give it a few nice couple dry swings and then we'll get out on like a, a putting green and test it out. Maybe we'll play it in a round, who knows. This thing feels balanced. It feels nice and smooth as you're swinging it. Um, again, this is right out of the box. I just ripped it open about five seconds ago. All right, so I'm out here at the putting green that we'll be using today. Shout out to Blue Rock Springs Golf Course. Um, again, we got the Kirkland Signature Putter. My dad already used it for uh, a round or two, so I never like to use people's clubs when they're brand new because I think it's a curse. But now that he has a couple rounds under his belt, let's test it out, see if it's a nice club. 
Also, if this video gets 300 likes, we'll give away one of these to somebody in the comments down below on which putter you currently use. Let me know what putter you currently use. I know a lot of people use the Callaway Odyssey series or Scotty Cameron's. Um, those are probably the two most popular putters. But I bet you this Kirkland starts to take fire when uh, it gets a little cheaper and people start to need to upgrade that putter. So again, 300 likes on the video. I'll give away this club to somebody down in the comment section. Easy way for you guys to test it out for free. So, all right. Uh, so for the next couple minutes, you'll see me testing out this brand new uh, Kirkland putter. Just kind of seeing the way it rolls, the smoothness of the way the ball was rolling, how close I can get to a hole. And I think that was like a 25 footer that I put to within a couple inches. Just became a tap in two putt, which again is really, really nice. That's what I strive to do. Um, we need more two putts, we need less three putts, and we need to mix in you know, a couple one putts every single round. And that's gonna definitely lower my scores. Um, I've been hitting in the you know upper 80s to low 90s recently, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like if I put this club, this Kirkland putter, in my bag, I could knock off maybe two to three strokes in my game just because of how much confidence I have in the club. And I think that's the key with putters and a lot of golf clubs in general is you got to just go up there with confidence that you have, you know, in the club and your ability to hit the club. I thought I made that one, so I had my arms stretched out wide. Um, but yeah, you, you really need confidence in your clubs because that's what's going to help you hit them the way they were designed to be hit, if that makes sense. If you get up there and you have no confidence in like a 5-wood or a driver, you're probably not going to hit it very well. But if you get up there, even if it's not, you know, swing's not looking the best or you're not playing as consistent as you want to, if you get up there with confidence, there's still a good outcome that could happen, you know. You could, you could hit a really, really nice ball, one that... You remember for rounds to come and I roll a couple of these ones really really close but again I had a lot of confidence with this club and that is important standing over it standing over the ball with this brand new Kirkland blade just pointed right at the right at the pin I'm telling you man it just feels different it feels great it feels smooth balanced everything you want in a putter um, I haven't had the chance to test out a Scotty Cameron yet but Hopefully that will be coming in the next couple of weeks. So uh, again, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We got a bunch of these coming out every single day. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy me just testing out this club, just messing around on the putting range. I know there's a lot of weird sounds in this video, like helicopters and cars driving by. It sounds like I'm playing on a freeway, but um, again, we'll just get back to kind of the serenity of me testing out this club on the golf course. I'm not leaving here before I make like a Steph Curry half court shot.
All right, now I'm gonna play flags one, two, and three, and uh, you'll see if we can get out of here with uh, three pars, which is what, just two putts? All right, so a little bit of final thoughts. We're gonna make this nice, quick, and easy. Uh, that putter feels extremely balanced. I feel strong. It feels it feels real good. It, it's weighted nicely. The I've never used a super stroke grip on my putter before, but that one was really, really nice. Uh, it helps you to not break your wrists and not get your hands as much involved. Um, and just basically use only your shoulders and kind of your upper torso. Uh, but I really liked the way that felt. Um, I've been using this Dunlop putter that was a hand-me-down putter. Uh, so again, let me know in the comment section what putter you currently use. And if this video gets 300 likes, we'll give away one of the Kirkland putters. Uh, good luck to everybody that has entered in to win. Um, that should be a fun giveaway. But yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. I know we got the uh, Titleist Pro V1 uh, yeah irish balls they are for saint patrick's day but these are pretty nice i like pro v1s i like uh a lot of the things that Titleist makes that putter i don't know if it's Titleist. i don't know if it's callaway but it reminds me a lot of the callaway odyssey two ball putter it is a blade i'm not sure you can get it in in, in uh multiple lengths uh but the standard length seemed to be fine for me and i'm six foot two and I have, you know, pretty average sized wingspan and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it felt really comfortable. It felt balanced. I felt very confident when I was striking the balls. Everything was rolling pretty smoothly, pretty straight. I sunk a lot of putts out there. Uh, I was able to two putt a lot of different things. And yeah, overall, I just feel really good about that club. Uh, again, it's 150 bucks. If you're looking to upgrade your putter, again, putting is really about putting in the work, getting the reads right, and then just executing. Um, it's not so much about the club. It's probably the least, uh, the least where the club actually affects the shot compared to every other club in the bag, except for maybe like a lob wedge or something. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel really good about the club. Um, the Kirkland Signature Super Stroke Putter is a very nice product, and I would I would recommend you go out and get it if you're looking to upgrade for the putter and you don't want to go with a Scotty Cameron or like a, 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 a Odyssey, you know, two ball or a blade or you know just anything that Odyssey makes as far as putting is is a pretty good product. So yeah, I would recommend it. Um, again, 300 likes, we'll give one away it's for one of you guys to try it at home for free. Um, we've already done that with the Kirkland wedges, and we got a lot more giveaways and a lot more videos to come, so stay tuned for that. March is an exciting month. April is no different. And yeah, videos keep coming out every single week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit the like button if you did enjoy this video so we can get this up to the giveaway goal. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.